Life has changed very dramatically in a very short space of time for Venezuelans. I mean, until just a few years ago, everything seemed to be very prosperous. There was a lot of money around, and we've now now into a situation where the economy has essentially collapsed, and we're into hyperinflation. The prices in Venezuela, just ordinary consumer prices, are pretty much doubling every month. A minimum wage in Venezuela now, a monthly minimum wage, which is what most of the people in work are earning, won't even buy you one egg a day. That's on the side of sort of poverty and scarcity, but at the same time you've got the spread of um, infectious, contagious diseases, epidemics that are breaking out of diseases that in many cases in Venezuela have been eradicated or nearly eradicated decades ago. And then even beyond that you have the situation of violent crime, which is more or less off the charts. So this is fueling a, a, a tremendous exodus, um, which is clearly, you know, the, perhaps among the neighboring countries, it's the most visible symptom of the, of the collapse of the implosion of Venezuela. States that immediately border Venezuela, particularly Colombia, which has over 2,000 kilometers of shared border with Venezuela, extremely porous, is seeing a massive influx of, of migrants of various kinds. They're economic refugees, they're political refugees. Um, well, I think there are two levels of response. One is that it's very important that there is an appropriate and adequate response to the humanitarian crisis. The other role, I think, for the international community, both uh, national governments and multilateral organizations, is to assist Venezuelans to resolve their internal conflict because it can't be done by Venezuelans alone. The, the, there is no trust between government and opposition. And if that dialogue process doesn't take place, then it's impossible to fix the political conflict. And unless you fix the political conflict, the economic crisis, the humanitarian crisis will get worse. And that means from the point of view of the outside world that we will see more migrant flows. We may even see internal violence in Venezuela turning into violence contagion uh, in, in, in border areas. Venezuelans will uh, continue to sink into ever greater poverty. More and more people are going to die of malnutrition, of disease, of criminal violence, uh, and possibly even of political violence too. Um, the situation is already very, very bad. And once you're into hyperinflation and the situation is so unstable, um, this can only get worse, and it's unimaginable what could ultimately happen unless serious efforts are made to, to fix the crisis.